Well, as you saw just before the break, we played you an insert by Show and Bryce Pease talking to us about the fact that uh, uh, Dr. Pumzile Mlambo Nuka is expected to deliver the ninth Thabo Mbeki Africa Day lecture. Uh, a very exciting moment for us and for her, no doubt, as well, and especially with the significance of doing it on Africa Day. So let's talk a little bit more about this. Tami Antenteni, who is the head of communication at uh, the Thabo Mbeki Foundation, is joining us in studio. Good to see you. Thank you very, very much for coming in. Thank you very much for inviting me. So let's talk about the choice of, uh, of uh, uh, Dr. Pumzile Mlambo Nuka. Well, I think uh, the choice of Dr. Pumzile Mlombunguga is um, a very appropriate choice com considering her, her achievement, achievements both uh, here in South Africa and internationally. You will recall that uh, Dr. Pumzile Mlombunguga was uh, at one point uh, the deputy president of South Africa yes. and now she is playing her role at the United Nations uh, relating to matters of uh, women and development. Yeah. So she, she seems like a, an automatic choice to come in and deliver this lecture. Any idea what it is that she'll be sort of focusing in on during this particular lecture? Well, the theme of the lecture is uh, the theme of the lecture is uh, gender equity a necessary paradigm shift, a necessary paradigm shift for Africa's development. So that actually speaks to what she's going to be talking to. Because when you speak of a paradigm shift, we are talking about a shift in a certain mindset. We have been living for a very long time in societies that have been dominated by gender-based power relations, which are antiquated and are actually archaic. Yeah. And therefore, we cannot speak development when such a large number of, uh, large number of part of society is on the margins of the economy and treated in the manner in which, in fact, we could say, discriminated against in terms of participation in the economy. Absolutely, and it is one of the biggest challenges that faces the continent, and I'm glad that this is going to be the focus of, of this year's lecture, and I believe that after the lecture, there's actually going to be a panel discussion, and we've got um, a visiting professor, if I'm not mistaken, from Malawi coming to join her. Exactly. Talk to us about this. Now, also insofar as that is concerned, there are various, there are various areas of discussion that will take place also addressing the question of uh, gender equity and uh, development, but uh, various components of this. That means now the panel discussion will be a bit more focused on specific areas of development and involvement of women in terms of uh, their participation in development and also promoting equality for uh, equ equity treatment of women yeah, yeah. in uh, in development. It's quite incredible. I mean, I'm seeing particularly within a um, a, a study that was that was released. Uh, it was produced by McKinsey, saying that the power of parity, basically advancing women's parity and gender empowerment can add at least 12 trillion US dollars into the economy. And I mean, this is, this is huge if you think about it. And it's the advancement of women that is needed to bring about more economic development. And that's something I think that needs to be closely watched. Now, the fact that this has been done under the name of our former president, Thabo Mbeki, what does this say to him? I mean, when it comes to the empowerment and the advancement of women, his views on this, how does he feel about it? Well, uh, if, if we bring that into the equation, you will remember also, in fact, that uh, uh, Dr. Pumzile Mlambunguka becomes uh, the first female deputy president of South Africa mm. under the administration of Tabombeki. Yeah. So the Tabombeki Foundation and Tabombeki himself has been very, very passionate about matters of development and bringing about equity insofar as the treatment of women is concerned. 
in actual fact, uh, the South African constitution, which is regarded as uh, one of the most progressive constitutions in the world, does speak to the question of gender equity. But I think we're still, we still have not actually reached uh, that goal in so far as uh, bringing about parity in so far as women are concerned. Yeah, yeah. That is why then it is important that we have this matter highlighted and being addressed by a person of no lesser stature than Pumzile Mlambo Nguka yeah, herself. Yeah. But uh, in so far as your question is concerned, again, the fact that the Tabombeki lecture has decided to have this um, as a theme of uh, the lecture this year also speaks to the fact that it is a matter that cannot be relegated to the margins. It is a matter that has to be placed fairly in the squarely in the public domain and people must begin to engage on this matter and say how best do we improve the position of women, considering also the historical aspects or the historical experience of us as South Africans Indeed. and where we come from yeah, yeah. in so far as questions of discrimination are concerned. Very important. I think this is a, it's a, it's a huge conversation and I'm sure we'll have a lot more in the lead up to this conversation, particularly on Africa Day. Uh, just just a, a quick uh, look at some of the uh, logistics. I know it's happening at UNISA in Pretoria and in, in the, uh, the ZK Matthews Hall. Uh, are tickets available or can you just arrive? How does it work? No, um, we have, um, there has been uh, an invitation that has been sent out okay, okay. in which uh, people have been, in that invitation there is a link for people to RSVP. And uh, as far as I'm aware, at this point in time, the, uh, we are fully booked now. Wow. There are, the ZK Matthews is going to be packed with people who are interested to be part of the audience and also not just the audience, but there is time for people to engage. It's going to be an interactive session and they will be able to ask questions with regard to the theme of the, of the lecture. Wonderful. So thank you very much for joining us here on the program. Good luck with it. I'm sure we will be talking to you a lot more about this. It's all happening on Africa Day. It is the uh, Tabu and Becky Foundation's annual lecture. And of course, the big uh, event and the guest speaker uh, is uh, coming up from, uh, from the UN, because of course she's stationed there at the UN. But all talking about uh, events that are around women and the struggle for women empowerment and equality here on the African continent. Thank you very, very much for joining us again. Let's take a break here on the program. When we 